Hey guys, I'm Steph and I'm Tammy and today we'll be checking out Chili King Guantan Mi. Chili King Wantan Mi specializes in five different types of spiciness levels. One being Tampo Hyam, two being Ho Hong Hyam, three being Kasui Hyam, four being Tinja Hyam, and level five is Yang Te Hyam. Hi, my name is Michael and I'm the owner of the Chili King Wantan Mi. Because as I can see, all my friends they are talking about the Korea hot noodle. So I think of a way to make youngster like to eat my noodles. So I put in something that everybody likes. It's a spicy level. That's why I call it a chili king wonton mee. I have a special set of spoons that every level have one type of spoon for each different level. Okay, so today we'll be ordering three different dishes. The first one is fried wonton. The second one is soup wonton. And the third one is their signature wonton mee in level one and five. Okay, so first up, we got the fried wonton and it's actually 12 pieces for $3.50. What the chef does is that he wraps minced pork inside the wonton skin and he fries it freshly every day. So when I beat into it, it was juicy and it was just very, very satisfying. Okay, so for those who actually prefer the soup version, they actually have the soup wontons and it's three fifty for 12 wontons as well. So I actually personally recommend this compared to the fried wonton just because the soup is the selling point here. The soup has this big punch of umami Oh my god, I really like the soup eh. It's not salty eh. Alright, let's say okay. soup bags from it books book. So did you know that wonton is actually Cantonese and not Mandarin? And in Cantonese, it literally translates to swallow clouds because when they are cooked, the dumplings actually float in the broth like clouds. Oh, interesting. Hey, yeah, cool, right? Third dish, we got the signature wonton mee in level 1 and 5. So the first one is tampo hyam. And basically, the spice level for this one was not a lot. For the wonton mee, it's quite a basic kind of set. It's your wonton noodles, char siu, a bit of vegetables, and one fried piece of wonton as well as a bowl of soup with two soup wontons inside. The taste is not your normal kind of wonton meat because all the components are actually quite different. So the noodles itself not the very thin and silky kind of wonton meat but it's actually much denser. It has more of a bite and it's eggier in flavour profile which is probably more like a ramen noodle than wonton meat noodles. Pashu. Oh my god, everything on this plate is weird! It's weird to me eh! Even the tashu itself right, it's so freaking smooth. It's like you bite your, you cannot hear any crunch. <laughs> it's like, you just numb and then it's gone. <laughs> so now on to the final dish. This is the signature wonton mee in level 5. Which is basically with a whole heap tablespoon worth of chilli sauce which is half made and it's actually made from five different types of chili. See the level five, it's quite close to the fire noodle. So instead of saying whether we are good at taking spiciness or we are not, earlier today we decided to do a fire noodle scale test to see whether it's comparable to the Korean instant fire noodle. So here's how it went. Okay, so Tammy is taking a nap during lunch right now. Let's go and find Tammy. Soon after. So when we ate the Korean fire noodles, it's spicy up to a certain time because it doesn't actually linger on. Yeah. So it was like a little bit spicier than average. Yeah. So I would rate it about 6 upon 10. I rated the Korean fire noodle quite high. It was more flavorful. Okay, so the first time when I actually picked up the level 5 noodle, you can actually see the minced up chili inside the noodles. When you try and compare level 1 and level 5, the noodles, the level 5 one is clearly quite red. Whereas the level 1 is not very spicy at all. Level 1 is like sweet chili. Yeah, sweet chili. For me, right, when I first 
tasted the noodles. It was actually not as spicy as I thought it would be. I could remember there was tingling around my lips and also like at the back of my throat. It was still quite bearable. For me right, my first big slurp, it wah. Wait a minute. It's not like the type that would only creep up to you. It just it just hit me like a fried train like that and it, I don't know. I don't know, I just didn't want it anymore. I needed a mini. Uh, to wrap it all up, is it as spicy as fire noodles? For me, I say it's not in terms of spiciness level. But for Tammy, I think it's because it's a different kind of spice. Yeah. The wonton mee is actually more of a bird's eye chili. Yeah. So with the seeds and I ate the seeds. <laughs> That's why. Everything in this store is actually 350 unless you want to add extra noodles or extra ingredients then there will be a surcharge for that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, 350 is quite value. Yeah. It's probably a place that I would go if I was passing by because it's not like quality. Whoa, it's it's not. not like quantity but it's unique. Yeah. Overall waiting. <laughs> Another episode of Ebook Vlog. For more, you can check out over there. In the meantime, remember to like.